Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. So, Burger King, they, uh, they did it again. As I think we all know by now, at least in this day and age, when I think of Burger King, I, I just think of excellence. You know, that's the first thing that just comes to mind. Uh, I think of excellence and consistency in everything that they do. Now, I'm glad I caught this when I did, and there's sort of a, a silver lining, I suppose. So I was checking around, I, I have these resources that I'll look at for um, fast food news and some of the latest fast food releases so I know what's being talked about, what's being hyped up, what I might review next, etc, etc, which I think is pretty straightforward. And uh, I saw that Burger King was coming out with a new lineup of sandwiches. I thought, well, I tried out something from Burger King not too long ago, and it was totally disgusting, the worst thing from Burger King that I've ever had, quite frankly, I thought so, well, you know, they might actually be releasing a chicken sandwich that's edible this time, you know, that's great. So, I was excited for this. They were coming out with the new Honey Mustard BK Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Premium chicken sandwich, yeah, not bad. Seven to eight dollars price, but it's premium. You're gonna have a real Allegedly high-quality chicken filet. It's gonna come with some honey mustard, Swiss cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Okay. Sounds like a complete sandwich. It might even have a shot of, of being all right. So... <clears throat> Sorry about that. I get it. I order the meal. I got myself some root beer as a drink. It arrives. Get everything set up for the review. I'm checking the bag. I, I see this. I think, what on, what on earth is this? You know, this doesn't seem like a, like a chicken sandwich. You know, I'm feeling it. It's, it's like it's soggy. It's very flexible. It's small. I'm thinking to myself, what on, what on earth is this? So I, I open it up. I see this tortilla right here. Thinking, what on earth? And uh, apparently, like I said, Burger King is obviously known for, for its excellence. But uh, even still, I guess they still have their days where, where there's some confusion, etc. And apparently, they gave me the Burger King... And now this is still a new item, so that's why I'm still even doing this. This is what I'm talking about with the silver lining, but apparently they gave me their new royal crispy chicken wrap instead of the BK royal crispy chicken sandwich with the honey mustard. So I got the wrap instead. Uh, but thankfully, Burger King, despite substituting it, still charged me the $8 for the the sandwich instead of the two ninety nine that this wrap would would uh, cost, so they they made out there, and uh, there you have it. So this is still new. I'm still gonna try it, but uh, it's just disappointing. You know, the problem was that once I got the item and I, I looked in the bag, I realized, wait a minute, this isn't this isn't what I what I ordered or paid for. Because then I saw the receipt, and it was still for the, the sandwich. Problem was that the Burger King had already closed, because this is in the evening right now. So uh, I'm kind of just dead in the water. Now, this wrap is still new. Still going to try it out, but, uh, you know, I'll admit, I'm a bit bummed out at this point, because uh, I was really looking forward to trying out that chicken sandwich. That's what's being hyped up. The thing actually looked decent. And instead, I've got this uh, soggy-looking wrap right here that, uh, I mean, it might still be good, but I don't know. I was just hoping to try something a bit better. I, I like doing these reviews for 
all of you and trying to, you know, provide a little insight as to how good or bad this new release is, and instead I get this. Oh well. And, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's disappointing, I just, I try to be better than this for the reviews, but it is what it is. So, being that I can't try out the chicken sandwich that I wanted to try, I'll make do with the wrap, I guess. This is still a new item, though. This is still new, so this is still a valid review. It's just not what I was... Not what I was really looking forward to reviewing and what I was hoping to review, and, you know, that's always a shame when that happens, but... What could you do, I guess? So this item, again, is called the BK Royal Crispy Chicken Wrap, and, uh... The whole Royal lineup of sandwiches is something that emerged, I think it was in 2021. And what that is, those are the premium chicken sandwiches, you know, they say, look, it's gonna be chicken sandwiches that are actually edible. And, uh, then they've released them, because they did a big release this month, they said, alright, along with the honey mustard one that we'll be releasing as a sandwich, we are also going to be releasing these sandwiches as wraps, uh, for the snacking, or if you just prefer to eat it as a wrap. And it'll include the same high-quality chicken in the tortilla, uh, the sauce, lettuce, and tomato. And there were three different types of wraps you could order. The original uh, crispy chicken wrap, which is what I got by accident, where it includes the chicken filet, lettuce, tomato. They say they're savory royal sauce, which is what this is, uh, what this is doused in. You could also order one that's the spicy version, where it just has some spicy sauce, I believe. And then the honey mustard one that has the honey mustard and, I think, bacon in it. But, uh, very soggy. But that makes sense because they're obviously, the, the application of the sauce was extremely, extremely liberal and, uh, you know, the chicken filet looks small and, uh, the tomato though, that is a big tomato. I'll, I'll give them that. Some lettuce. I guess that's kind of like what you'd expect from, from Burger King if you were to get a wrap they're from. Anyway, price for this, $3, and uh, my apologies again. I know this review is a bit of a mess, but, you know, I was just really hoping to try out something different, and, uh, you know, it is what it is, but we will see. We'll see how this wrap winds up being. Uh, again, I'm sorry. I wanted, I really wanted to try out that sandwich, especially the, the new one, and instead this is what I wound up with, but uh, we'll see. Certainly it doesn't look like the most impressive wrap in the world, but maybe it'll taste good. Let's not judge a book by its cover. And, uh, well, let's try it out. Let's see at least how this tastes, how that, that sauce is, and if this is a worthwhile wrap. So, the Royal Crispy Chicken Wrap, still new from Burger King, is going in. The wrap itself... It's actually better, thankfully. I mean, I figure it would have to be a, a bit difficult not to be, but it was better than that Italian uh, chicken sandwich from Burger King that I tried out in the last Burger King review that I did, so I'm happy to report that. Is the quality of this as high as, let's say, if you actually got the premium chicken sandwich, is the quality necessarily as high as uh, what you would be getting from that? No, it's, it's not. Is it, is it acceptable? I would say so, but it's at the low end of acceptable. I would say barely acceptable. You know, it's a wrap. It's, uh, I mean, I don't think you're really going to be going into this expecting the world. I think we all know that. You know, this is, this is Burger King we're talking about here. Personally, if I were to go there and, and get myself a chicken sandwich, I would say, okay, I'm gonna get the premium chicken sandwich, you know, the, the at least what's allegedly high quality. I'd probably bypass the wraps, but that's just that's just my personal preference. Uh, but I understand some people prefer the wraps; they're more convenient to eat. In some ways, I'm sure it's easier if you're on the go to just hold the wrap and you know eat it. It's cheaper; it's right more inexpensive. I understand. 
And for what it is, it's totally acceptable. Obviously, as you could see though, $3 it would be uh, on average. There's still a lot of empty space there. I think you could see at both ends of it just how much tortilla there is that's just totally empty. And uh, of actually the entire area of the tortilla, you could probably see that maybe less than half of it actually has anything in it. So in terms of the actual amount of substance in this item, it's quite limited. And the chicken filet, definitely not the same high quality as what I, at least I would expect to see on the sandwich. By that I mean, because I've reviewed their Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich lineup before, when you bite into the sandwich, the quality of the chicken, it's actually, it's different than what you would see on those the long chicken sandwiches or in their nuggets or their uh, chicken fries or anything of that nature, right? Because those sorts of items, the chicken has this like this spongy, uh, cheap quality to it. Whereas on the sandwiches, it's actually like a sliced chicken filet. You know, it's, it's juicy, it's thicker, it has more substance to it. And you could obviously discern that. Right, the sort of spongy chicken, you could just taste it, even texturally. And uh, then the actual sandwiches, it's just totally different. This, on the other hand, still has that cheap, spongy chicken in it, uh, which is disappointing. I think some people will get these wraps, they'll see, oh, the, the Royal Crispy, you know? They'll think that it's that higher quality chicken, but then when you actually bite into it, you realize, no, it's just the same old, same old. Which is a shame. Is it something that I'm necessarily surprised by? Not in the least. But it's still a shame nonetheless. And uh, it obviously shows. Now, I will add though, this chicken at least tastes like something. When I had that Italian chicken sandwich the other day, that thing was flavorless. It was total garbage. It was just total, total garbage. Oh, it was awful. I couldn't taste anything. This, I thankfully could at least taste. It at least, at least, <laughs> it tastes like chicken. And, uh, that's all right. I'm just checking the time. Otherwise, the Royal Crispy Sauce. As a matter of fact, you know, I see that the time on this review is running a little, a little, uh, I don't have much memory left on the camera. I'm going to pause this. I'm just going to get some more space on the camera because I'm not going to rush this one, so I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Now we've got some more time, plenty of it actually. So uh, I just didn't want to rush this video. So anyway, as far as the chicken quality is concerned, the uh, you could obviously taste that spongy chicken, you notice it. And uh, I think people would have hoped better again. You know, I've already gone over that. I don't think I need to say anything else. So the rest of the wrap, I will give them this. The quality of that tomato is actually acceptable. If there's one thing on this that I'm actually a bit pleasantly surprised at, it's the tomato. It's fresher than I thought it would be. It's got this nice crisp to it. Now by crisp, I don't mean that it's, you know, it's not like it's, it was dunked in the fryer or anything like that. I just mean that it's fresh, you know. It has that crisp firmness to it. That's really what I'm looking for. And uh, it's juicy and flavorful. It's actually a good tomato. Probably, uh, probably deserved to be on a good chicken sandwich, but nonetheless, still a good tomato. Lettuce, on the other hand, not the highest quality. Uh, I could tell that it's nowhere near as fresh as the tomato itself is. And, uh, you know, it just has that sort of soggy, very flimsy, sort of even chewy, in a sense, characteristic to it. The lettuce could be higher quality. And then the royal sauce, which they describe as being very savory. There is a little bit of a savory aspect to it, but a lot of it, it's just very watered down sauce. That's what I notice. It's very runny. If there weren't so much room available on this tortilla, I could easily see it all just dripping out. And um, instead, most of the tortilla here acted like a sponge of sorts and just absorbed it but otherwise I could see it being a bit messy. Not the most flavorful sauce in the world, you know, there's, again, a little savory flavor to it. 
not quite ranch dressing, but it's got some some similar characteristics to that, but it's not it's not quite. You know, it's mostly just runny. It's not the most flavorful sauce in the world. It's kind of just there. It mostly serves the purpose of giving a little bit of moisture to the uh, to the whole wrap, which isn't necessary in this instance. It's not necessary, I'm trying to say, because you already have that juicy tomato, which does enough, but I guess the sauce, it's kind of just there. I would have hoped for a bit more, but uh, it is what it is there. I guess it's like... Given the quality of this wrap, I would just think to myself, okay, this is the sort of item that I would expect to get if they had a dollar menu, and this is just some sort of cheap snack that you would go get for a dollar. I would expect this sort of quality from that. But to put this with their premium lineup of chicken sandwiches, and then you're paying three dollars for this, that's still a bit disappointing, if you ask me, because the quality just isn't there. And I think people will get this expecting it to be a little bit better than it is. Now, is it still acceptable? Yeah, I would say so. I obviously ate this. I'm not grossed out. It doesn't taste bad, but it's just barely acceptable. It's like, I think most people will go into this expecting better. Especially when earlier in the year, a place like KFC released their chicken wraps, which were inexpensive, and were, they were awesome. They tasted great. So then you might see a review like that. You'll see, oh, Burger King's doing something like that too. Then you actually get it. And it's like, wow. Yeah, they, they kind of, they dropped the ball once again. Now for me, am I personally disappointed? Because here I was all psyched up and excited for trying out a uh, premium chicken sandwich, looking forward to it. And then I get this instead. Yeah, yeah, I am personally disappointed. But you know what? That bias has no influence on this review. I'm just trying out the product here for what it is. So, could be better, could be worse. I think people will have expected better, though. But just barely acceptable. Therefore, out of 10, I'm going to be giving the Royal Crispy Chicken Wrap from Burger King, I'm going to give it a 5.8 out of 10. Yeah, it's acceptable. If you want a cheap snack, I mean, it's up to you. $3, though, should be better for what it is. Even that could, could be a bit better. So that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. My apologies again for this uh, sort of mishap of sorts, but I'm just trying to make the best of it. Still thankful, very thankful that I was able to uh, try out at least a new item anyway. And uh, again, I'm sorry about this all, but if I'm able to, I'll still get that review for the sandwich. So that'll hopefully be coming up soon as well. All right, thank you all for bearing with me today. And that's all that I have for you. Until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.